Hello and welcome everybody to today's sellout video. So today I just wanted to make kind of a promotional video for Smugmug, which is a website builder that I use for myself and that I've also advertised in some of my previous videos. And you know, I genuinely think that this is one of the best website builders out there if you want to build especially a photography website or a photography portfolio because it's so easy to use and it's pretty cheap, but um, Smugmug does actually not pay me directly to make this or any other videos. The way it works is that I have an affiliation ship with them, so whenever somebody signs up with my link to one of their paid plans, then I get a certain amount from that. And by the way, you don't pay anything extra, you actually pay 15% less with my link, but yeah, once again, I generally think that this is a really cool website builder if you want to get into to your own website, want to make your own website, because uh, it starts from really very inexpensive, from as low as $3, even less if you have 15% off. But yeah, so I just wanted to make this, uh, you know, usually I don't make these promotional sellout videos, but I really just wanted to show you how it works to build a gallery and how everything looks and stuff. So if you're actually interested in building your website, then you might find that interesting. I know there are a lot of other solutions out there as well that I'm sure work great, but you know, Smugmug didn't pay me to use their site. I actually search around for or um, different tools and different websites that could help me to make my own website because of course I don't know how to code and I just thought that Smugmug at the end worked the best for me. So here um, I'm, you see I'm locked in and if you're locked in you have all of these options upload, organize, customize and sell and the cool thing is that if you go for a portfolio or a business plan you actually also have the ability to sell your pictures if I show you this really quick here in my portfolio so you can just um, have this option so somebody can buy a print and uh, it's also a really cool feature to start making some money with your photography but anyways let's just go to the home page once again and go into organize to show you how it works to make a gallery and these are all of my galleries that I've already made, so um, landscapes, mountains, etc. Um, but let's create a new one here, gallery. And you have all sorts of options. I'm just gonna go relatively quick through them. Let's just call this uh, YouTube test gallery. And you can also set your custom URL, keyword, feature image, so it's easier to find. Um, then down here in the security and sharing, you actually can also make these unlisted. So you can only share them via email with your clients or with your family or whatever. So that's also a cool option. And photo protection, you can also set that. So um, not everybody can see the full resolution file and some social icons. And here's the shopping. Uh, you can set your proof delay and whatever. Then we have appearance, just kind of your basic appearance of the gallery. You can customize that way more in the actual settings and some quick settings. But let's just create one here. And we have our gallery already right there. And let's take some photos over here. I've prepared some of my photos. And luckily, I don't have too slow of an internet, so this shouldn't take too long. Yeah, there we go. You can also upload via your mobile phone. There's an app for that, so that's also pretty cool. And by the way, all of the plans have unlimited storage, so you can literally upload 10,000 or 50,000 pictures if you really want to. But we're here in our gallery, and this is kind of the default layout. I think 500px uses a similar layout, but I don't really like this too much. So what I'm gonna do first is go into customize and you have all sorts of different settings. Here are the gallery settings that I've added previously. You can of course always change these as well and go from a public gallery to an unlisted to a private and so on. Then here gallery style, gallery theme is just kind of, you know, the theme of the gallery. Then content and design, I'm also gonna show you in a bit. And you choose new site design, you can also do here. 
here. But first of all, let me just go through all of these gallery styles. The first one is the Smugmug layout, which is kind of their own gallery style with a big feature image on the right and uh, all of your other pictures on the left. Then we would have thumbnails, which is personally my favorite, where you can just have thumbnails all the same size and you can also adjust the aspect ratio, etc. But then you have the college landscape, which is kind of the 500px style and also college portrait, which is kind of the same, just with uh, vertical pictures. And what else journal is where you have a very big picture and then you just kind of scroll down. And lastly, you would also have a slideshow. So that's also a pretty cool feature to have. And yeah, but I think I'm going to go with thumbnails here because um, to further customize and to show you and also because I just like thumbnails the best. But, uh, you know, I mean, it's pretty much that easy. So if you're already happy with the way it looks, you could already stop there. But I'm going to go to customize content and design and customize it a bit further because there are really a ton of options that you have here. And by the way, from this menu, you could also select all of your other pages. For example, um, if you want to make a change, let's uh, fix the entire site. For example, here I could change the sizes of this menu on the header and could also change whatever the links are here in this header, etc. But I'm going to go back to um, my gallery here and I'm actually going to make this gallery custom because I just want the changes to affect this very gallery. And I'm going to go here into gallery styles, thumbnails, and we have a bunch of options. You can also put it into one to one and um, even make it smaller or of course larger as well. And I kind of like this uh, layout. It's almost 500 PX ish like how it used to be, which is a layout that I really like. But um, for my current galleries, I think I have a layout that looks something like this. So it's a pretty big preview, but at the same time, you still have plenty of pictures on your page. But of course, if you have a gallery with maybe a thousand pictures, then you just might want to put these in small and put these into one to one. So you don't have to scroll endlessly. You can also set your distance spacing and um, your text style, etc. But I'm just going to put it into Oh, actually, this is also a cool option if you want to make a gallery look like this. But I think I'm just going to put it into three to two and just keep it at large and spacing. Just put that to 12, then click on done. And here to the right, you see we have a ton of more options. First of all, you would have content. So here you could add other galleries, folders, pages, photos, multiple photos, a slideshow, for example. Let's say we want a slideshow at the bottom of this gallery. Then here, let's just choose the auto um, height, choose a gallery to um, for the slideshow. Let's just choose my mountains and valleys right here. And then you could, of course, also set your fixed amount. So for example, if you want it to be uh, this wide, you can also set that. You have also a bunch of other playback options, how fast you want it to play automatically and also your controls, but let's just leave it at default. And by the way, if that's all you want to do to your gallery, you can already click on done and then publish now. And it's already available like this for everybody else. But before I do that, let's just go through all of these other settings as well. Um, you of course have a menu, then you could also add a video, either upload it directly or also a link from um, YouTube or Vimeo and a whole bunch of other stuff, text, social icons, and even custom HTML and CSS. If there is something you want to do that is not um, an option here, you can also do that with custom code. But uh, I think for most people, that would be plenty of options here. And then second of all, we have the theme. And here are also a bunch of uh, custom themes that are kind of pre-made. So, you know, if you want a dark background, a light background, you want some textures in the background. 
And you can of course also make your custom theme. So let's just go with primary color, kind of dark, then accent color is what your buy button as well as your, um, your titles will be. So you can all set that here and even go to advanced and for example, let's see here, let's make the body color white. And you could even change, you know, the opacity of different things of the Heather and change the color here, but I'm just gonna leave it uh, how it is because otherwise the video will be too long. But let's just click on done here. Uh, forget to type a name, YouTube test layout. All right, click on done and we already have that saved. And then background here, you could choose to even play a video in the background, a slideshow, which is by the way, the thing that I have on my homepage and also just a photo. So then you can also choose your photo for the background. And um, let's just go to slideshow real quick here. You can also set all of the speeds and the images and uh, all of that stuff. And um, this is once again, what I have on my homepage. But here, the last thing that we have is layout. And here you can pretty much just set the layout of your um, whole site. For example, if you just wanted to display on the center, you can also set all of that stuff very easily. And even if you want it off center, you can do that as well. Let's say you want to have to have a buffer here on the top. You can also set that. And you know, it's very simplistic and it's also very easy to overview, you know, everything very organized and very easy easy to see what you actually have as options here. But let's go back to stretchy. So whenever I ch would change the size, it would automatically adjust everything. And by the way, all of these websites um, or everything that you will make will also be automatically scalable on a mobile phone, on a tablet, on a high resolution monitor. So that's really cool as well. But let's just say that I'm done here with this gallery, click on done and publish now and we are already done. So that's really how easy it is and now everybody can publicly view this gallery. So yeah, that pretty much concludes it and you could also set your own keywords, your caption as well as your title. But I think that's pretty much it for what I'm gonna show you here. Let's just go through some of my pages that I use for myself. This is kind of the, you know, the general gallery page where all of my galleries are. And if I go here into customize content and design, then you see everything that I've added here to the left is a little menu and all of the galleries here and some titles. So let's just go out of this. Don't want to change anything here. And by the way, this is also a cool feature that you can just have a drop down menu. So let's go into portfolio and you can see this is kind of my layout for my portfolio. Then printing page is also a thing that I've done because, um, you know, I print my pictures. And the way it actually works is that whenever somebody buys a print of yours, it goes directly to a photo lab and they then send the print directly to your customers. So that way the shipping cost stays down and also the shipping times are really, really fast. Um, yeah, so here's my printing page. If you would want to customize anything here, it's also very easy. And once again, I can just change something if I want to in just a few seconds, but I don't really want to do anything here. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it. And once again, the pricing is really low, especially, I mean, if you don't want to sell any prints, then either the basic or the power plan will be plenty for you. And you even get 15% off of this price by using my link. And yeah, so if you're really interested in making your own photo website or portfolio and you really just want to see how it works you actually can once again use my link and you get 14 day free trial without any payment information needed so you can really try out everything for yourself and then after the 14 days if you decide to go for a paid plan once again you also automatically get 15% off. 
So I think I'm gonna end this video here. Really thank you very much for sticking around so long. And once again, you can just try it for 14 days absolutely free by using my link in the description or just by clicking on the annotation on the video right now. But yeah, until next episode, which is by the way gonna be a Lightroom video, I hope you have a great day and please as always, take care.